Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to boost the colors in your videos using two of the plugins that are available in Sony Vegas Movie Studio. I created a video like this before, but I was asked to show how to do it with Movie Studio 12, which has removed some of the plugins that were in previous versions. So I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing we want to do is to bring up a clip on the timeline that we want to improve the color on, and this is one that I want to do that to. And then we go over to select our Video Effects tab. And on the Video Effects tab, we come down to Color Corrector and Secondary. And on the Color Corrector Secondary, I'm just going to drag the default right up onto the screen. And that puts the effect on the clip that I've selected. Now, the default is not going to make any changes to it, but what I want to do is I want to use a custom preset. In previous versions of Movie Studio, you can use a drop down and choose Studio RGB to Computer RGB. And when I select that, check the, what it does to the colors over here. You notice it makes the colors pop a little bit more. Unfortunately, Movie Studio 12 and newer versions don't have the Studio RGB to Computer RGB preset, but it's easy for you to create. The way to do it is to change the settings you see here on the screen, just like I have, to Saturation 1.164, Gamma to 1, Gain to 1.164, Offset to minus 18.6, and Alpha 1.0. Type in Studio RGB to Computer RGB, and click this icon right here and that'll save the preset so in the future when you want to use this preset it'll be there automatically for you now if you want to make custom changes to it you can click the custom button and it'll bring up the wheel where you can make additional changes and if you want to you can make the changes that I show here now I'm going to turn this off I want you to look here so you can see what the color looks like with the preset applied and you see it looks a little bit washed out and we turn it back on it looks pretty nice but we can do more than that we can add another effect. The way we do that is we click plug in chain here. And the one we want to use this time is Sony Levels. So we click it and then click OK. And on the Sony Levels, one of the presets that they did leave in is the Studio RGB to Computer RGB. And if I click that again, notice how it really makes those colors pop. Now I'm going to turn that off. You can see that's with it off, that's with it on. And we'll turn both of those off. And you can see that's what we started with and just by applying those two presets we get great colors now we can do that through the entire track if we want and to do it to the entire track what we do is we come over here to our video track and we select this drop down right here that says track effects again this is going to apply the effect to the entire track so we select that and then we go back what we did before we select sony color corrector secondary we click ok now, if you've saved that preset like I showed you earlier, you can just use the drop down and choose Studio RGB to Computer RGB. And then we're going to come in and select the levels, just like we did before, Sony Levels. And then on the levels, we do what we did before. We go to the preset. We choose Studio RGB to Computer RGB. And now we've applied the color corrector secondary and the levels to the entire track. And once they're on the track, we can go and look at the difference that it makes. For example, in this image right here, you can see that we have a crowd shot and the colors are really popping. But if we remove the two effects that we had there before, and this is with the off, it looks a little bit faded. When we turn those back on, you can see that it really makes them pop. And if we look at anything from the video clip, the entire track, you can see that the colors really pop now. Now, if you have one video clip that's the entire track, then applying the effects to the entire track the way we just did works out pretty well. But if you're a video like this where you have a number of different clips, you may want to apply these effects individually so that you can get the colors that you want. But it really makes a big difference to be able to go in and to apply just these two color effects, the color corrector secondary and the levels effect. Now, for, in case you missed it when we first started out, let me show you the settings for the color corrector secondary and the studio RGB to, to computer RGB preset. These are the settings that I use. You might want to pause now and copy those down into your own Sony Movie Studio. Then type in Sony RGB to Computer RGB and hit the Save preset to save it. Uh, here's the custom settings in case you want to see more detail. Anyway, I thought you might be interested in this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.vmyers.com.